Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking another look at Heptabase and I'm going to talk about some of the features that makes me believe that the Heptabase is one of the best note-taking apps out there. And the first one is the journal page, which is just a daily notes page. And I love this because a lot of note-taking apps has this, but you can place everything inside of here before you decide where to put it. So let's say I have a to-do. Let's say I want to take out trash. I could easily just put it in here and then I could turn this into something else. I could copy the link to the block or I could actually turn it into a whole new card if I wanted to. So everything can just go into your journal and you can easily turn it into a card or a note inside of Heptabase. And you can date things in the future. So if you have a meeting, let's say Friday the 15th, I could have it inside of here. You could have, a, for example, I am starting a new job Wednesday the 13th. I could have that inside of here, then look back at it later. So I could go back in time and look at it at a later stage. And as you can see, you can see with the blue uh, mark beneath, you can see the blue mark beneath uh, the date, you can see that it has something written inside of it. I actually don't use the journal pages too much. I am uh, personally using a bullet journal, a physical notebook for those kind of things but for people who like digital planning this app has everything you need to plan digitally then we have the map feature imagine uh, something like whiteboards inside of Miro just with all of your notes well this app actually has it so if we jump into my board and the note taking app video that I can't seem to get finished you can have everything inside of your uh, whiteboard, all of your notes. You can actually find all of your notes inside of here. You can search for them and just drag them inside of here. So you can do mind mapping and thinking inside of the app as well. It has backlinkings and you can show all the backlinks or you can create your own uh, links by dragging and dropping to see visually how things are connected so you have mind mapping inside of this as well if you're a big fan of notion and databases that's the only reason why i like notion is because of databases so let's say you wanted to create a database you can do that as well so you can easily create databases with different filters. So I have a couple of them inside of here. Uh, I haven't actually started using it to its fullest potential. I just recently started doing databases, then I got sick, but databases is also a great feature inside of this app. So if you are a Notion fan and you love databases, you can make them inside of your um, note-taking app or inside of Heptabase using uh, tags and I know that things like Tana has this as well with super tags but another reason why this app is so good is that it is really intuitive it is really easy to use I didn't spend too much time learning keyboard shortcuts or learning how I could use the app you can also group your tags it seems like they have thought of almost everything. You can search inside of your tags as well. There are just so many great features to this. You have an AI assistant similar to something like uh, something like Mem has, where it uses your information stored inside of the app. And I like this a lot better than uh, having ChatGPT in integrated into your note-taking app. Because if I want to use ChatGPT, I can use ChatGPT. I don't need to use my note-taking app. I want my AI inside of my note-taking app to help me resurface old ideas, old notes, old thoughts and that's uh, the way I think the productivity space will be moving into. 
is actually having these kinds of AIs, but Heptabase already has it. It still needs a little bit of work because right now it will only show you the relevant cards whenever you ask it a question instead of actually giving you an answer. But honestly, this is quite good as well for resurfacing your notes. And that's overall why I chose this as my go-to note-taking app for writing blog posts, articles, YouTube videos. I still initially put all of my notes into twos, but when I when they are actionable, I move them into Heptabase. And that's the reason, because it is intuitive, it is easy to use, and it has all the features I need. I love databases. I uh, love mind mapping and visual note taking. I like to see things visually. And honestly, it has been a great experience using the app and I would recommend it uh, to everyone who likes databases, wants an easy to use app, and especially those who like to see things more visually on a whiteboard. This is probably the best app out there for you right now. So that's Heptabase and why I chose to use Heptabase as my go-to note-taking app. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.